I'm Bob. Welcome to Balance Exercises for Beginners and Seniors. Today I'm going to present four balance routines that if you do them on a regular basis will improve your mobility and your stability and your strength. You will need water and a sturdy chair. The first routine is called the one weight. And in my case, it's my water bottle. My water bottle with the water in it weighs approximately two pounds. And that's enough for me because I want to try to maintain my form and my best posture throughout. So I'm going to stand next to my chair and I'm going to hold on to it with one hand. And as I lift up my outside knee, I'm going to lift up the weight, which is the water bottle, over my head with a straight arm and bring it back down slowly. And do it two, three, four. Arm and knee come up as high as they can go. Five, six, Seven, just three more. Eight, nine, and ten. Did you feel it in the supporting leg, the one that's closest to the chair? I did. That means that both sides of my body are getting a workout. Let's switch and try this side. So I'm holding on, best posture, up goes the arm, up goes the knee. One, two, not too fast, three, be mindful of what you're doing with your body. There's the fifth one, just five more, four, three, two, one. All right, part two of the one weight is holding the water bottle straight out in front of us in a nice straight line. And then we're gonna take our arm to the side and our leg to the side. One, the arm goes straight out to the side and the leg goes straight out to the side too. So the arm and the leg are straight, stand tall. I think that was four. Just five more. One more. Switch hands, other side, arm is straight out, hold on to the chair, and slowly take the arm and the leg out to the side. There's two, three, four, just five more. Don't hurry it. Two more. Good. This time, the arm is out to the side, it's holding on to the water, it's bent at the elbow 90 degrees, and we're going to just simply do a forearm dip. But as we do that, our legs are together, we're going to do a little squat and come back up. So our feet are together and so are our knees. And I'm holding on to the chair because I want to make sure that my posture is perfect. I don't want to be wobbling all over the place. Just five more. Just two more, I think. I'm thinking about my body so much, sometimes I don't count right. But that's okay. 
other side. Almost time for a drink. Okay, holding on to the chair, legs together, arm at 90 degrees out to the side, and forearm dip with a mini squat or a shrink squat. So I lower my body, my hips go down and back a little bit to keep my back straight, and my knees come forward. That's five. Five more. And one more. I'm sitting up nice and tall, not slouching. I'm on the edge of the chair. My chair here is kind of old and it squeaks, but it's still sturdy. Got arms just in case I need them. So I'm going to simply step to the side and step to the other side. So it's a step, touch, step, touch. You can put your hands on your knees. You can leave them out here at the side, or why not move them as you step touch, right? Let's go a little bit faster. Step, touch, step, touch, step, touch. You've done this many times, I'm sure, standing up, but we're seated today in our best posture possible. Arms going out to the side, legs going out to the side in a step touch. So it's step, touch, step, touch, or one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, faster. Because this is aerobics, we want to get our heart beating faster than it normally does for at least 20 seconds. With a little rest in between. Okay, then we'll slow down. Good, good. All right, the next one, we're going to kick our foot out there. It's kind of like straighten your leg. And we could boxer size while we're at it here. Boxer size. So I'm kicking the right leg out and punching with the right arm. You could alternate, but it's the way I choose to do it. So once I've got it, I'm going to go a little faster. Kick and punch. Just 20 seconds. Good. Slow down. Good. And then the third one, it's only three. The third one is bringing the knees up. So I'm going to bring my knee up, bring the other knee up. So I'm going to push up with my arm. Same side as the leg that's going up. So the knee's coming up. I'm not kicking out, I'm lifting the knee up. That's it, up we go. Get going a little faster here because we're doing aerobics, working the heart. If we lose our coordination, that's okay. Just keep moving for 20 seconds. Okay, slow down. And that's it. The third routine is a martial art routine, a qi gong. Qi means energy, gong means what do you do with that energy. And it's a very, very simple, gentle exercise, but it works your whole body and it's called head to toe. And you might even recognize it. So put your hands on your head, Shoulders, hips, knees, toes, knees, hips, shoulders, head, shoulders, hips, knees, toes, knees, hips, shoulders, head, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, and knees, and toes, and knees, and toes, head, shoulder, hips, shoulder, head, shoulder, hips, knees, toes, knees, hips, knees, 
toes, knees, hips, shoulders, head, head, shoulders, hips, knees, toes, head, toes, head, toes, knees, shoulders, knees, shoulders, hips with a wiggle, head, hips, head, hips, hips, toes, hips, toes, hips, knees, toes, head, shoulders, knees, toes, head, hips with a wiggle, shoulders, knees, shoulders, knees, shoulders, knees, toes, head, hips, shoulders, knees, toes, head, hips with a wiggle. Good for you. The last routine, I call it the lucky seven stretches. Yes, there's seven different stretches. The first one is called give yourself a pat on the back. So take your arm, say the right hand, right arm, and take your hand and reach behind your head to your shoulders so you can pat yourself on the back and then take the free hand here and push the elbow back so that your hand can reach even further down your back and give yourself a pat on the back. 10 times and then switch. So this arm, this hand comes up, bend it on the same side, reach back, see if you can touch your back Push your elbow with the free hand back so you can reach a little further down your back and then pat yourself 10 times. Good. Let's try that again with this side. Pat your back. 10 times, this one. Can you go a little further down your back with that hand? One more on each side. And pats. And the last one. There we go. That's stretch number one. Stretch number two. It's kind of like that other head and shoulder one, but all we're going to do is touch our toes. And how you do that is up to you. You could squat to touch your toes. You could bend and reach down and do a deadlift to touch your toes, but touch them and hold them. Keep your head in neutral. Breathe normally. It's just called touch your toes. Something should be going on in the back of your legs here. Good, come up slowly. Number three is flip your wrist. So you're gonna take one arm, palm up, hold it straight out, grab your fingertips with the other hand and bend your hand down like that so that you see the palm or you at least see my palm. So the arm is straight and the wrist is flipped. Flip your wrist, hold it. Good, shake it with the other one straight out. Grab hold of the fingertips, flip the wrist. Keep the arm straight, flip the wrist. Good. The next one is called a flat back. So I'm gonna stand, I'll turn sideways. I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna bend over so that my tailbone to the top of my head is like a tabletop. So I'm like this, right? And it should be flat. I'm gonna keep my head in neutral here so that the top of my head to my tailbone is nice and flat. Just hold it. Good, and slowly come up. The next stretch is kind of the reverse to that. Put your hands on your hip, 
Stand in neutral, feet shoulder width apart, and push your hips forward and bend backwards. Keep your head in neutral there, hips forward. When you can't go any further, hold it. That's pretty good. Slowly come up. Okay, the next one you might have to hold on to your chair because I'm gonna grab a hold of my ankle here on the outside leg and then I'm gonna try to stand up nice and tall. So I've got one leg bent and the other one straight. Now, if I really, really, really wanted to, if I could, I'd put my knees together, but I have a problem with this leg, so that's as far as it's going when it comes to getting my knees together. But I'm holding on for stability here. Okay. And then I'll just turn around so you can see me do the other leg, holding on to the chair, grab my ankle, and put my knees together. Stand up tall. Good. And there's one more, I call it the shoulder blades. So I put my hands behind my head, link my fingers. So what I'm gonna do is, just standing in neutral here, I'm gonna push my elbows back as far as they'll go and get my shoulder blades touching and hold it there. Stretching the front of your body and the back of your body. This will really improve your posture, which will improve your balance. Heads pushing into the hands as you push your elbows back. I think that's the seventh one. And relax. Now, I never said how long we hold those. We were just holding them for a few seconds. But if you can hold them longer, longer is better. You get more benefit. I'd like to uh, tell you that you got to work on your balance on a regular basis at least two or three times a week alternating days and you you will sh see improvement um before i sign off here i want to share with you my swiss ball or my balance ball or you can call it my exercise ball you can buy it probably almost anywhere but the best place is for me is a thrift store because they used to be very popular for balance years ago but not so much in the gyms anymore and uh, they're a great tool if you get a new one you won't have to worry about the ball having cracks or being worn and it might not be safe and you, you can get it blown up almost anywhere a hardware store would be able to do that or some kind of a gym or maybe you've got a bicycle pump it, it'll blow up you want it to be firm but you want it to be a little tiny bit soft. And you don't want, of course, any cracks in it or anything. And I would probably use it in a space where if you fell, you're not gonna hurt yourself on any of the furniture around you, or if you're outside, maybe on the grass, or someplace out in the backyard away from anything that might hurt you. Because it's a challenging tool here. I call it a Swiss ball. And I'm sitting in the middle of it. I'm sitting up nice and tall. I can push my hips from side to side, front and back. I can maybe move a little bit forward, move a little back, maybe step touch out, maybe two step touches, maybe a hop, skip and jump, something. But it's a great, great, tool for balance and there's lots of exercises for the swiss ball just look up swiss ball exercises or balance ball exercises you get lots of stuff and i'll just show you before i leave though i like to sometimes put my foot on it and stand on one foot maybe push the ball out in front with my heel maybe push it to the side with my ankle maybe push it to the back my toe, do both sides of my body. Okay? Swiss ball.